Matt, welcome back to the shop and is that recording? That's recording. So this is something that you guys might not actually be aware of. Uh, some of you younger guys who are getting into all these engines and stuff. So on this moped job it, it has one of these horrible fucking things. Nothing but misery. <laughs> uh, what it is basically is you'll see it says out, it has in and it has vent. But on the back side there's another little basically another pipe another connection that basically just sticks out the back and what you might notice is we've got in so here's fuel there's a fuel filler that's horrible i'll replace that soon but you can see there's fuel in there and when you take off this line here you'll see fuel pissing out we'll get that back on there you'll see fuel pissing out all is good and then your vent goes to the top of your tank and then has another vent that vents to atmosphere um, the reason why it goes back to the tank is any vapours that come out of here end up going back into the tank instead of going and killing um, Mararakari or whatever a fucking face is. And then you'll have the, you know, you're out here. But the problem is, is when you open your out, you'll notice, well, there's fuck all going on. This is if you've taken the thing apart, drained your carbs, or there's some wrong problem with carbs. You'll notice that there's no fucking fuel. And when you try and start the bike, nothing happens. So, let's... That happens. Nothing fucking happens. So, what is the problem? Well, you might notice, like I say, I'll take a picture because I'm not fucking dicking around with the camera. There's a, a little spout on the back. Or, depending on what your system looks like, there'll be an out um, that isn't... Is this labelled? No, this isn't labelled. And then you'll notice on your manifold, I'll take a picture of that as well, on your inlet manifold, there's a little spout there as well. And here's a pipe. Now, you might not... The pipe that I had on this was this fucking grotesque... Yeah, so what I did was, is I nicked the vent that's up here, there's a vent that goes to atmosphere. It doesn't need to go all the way fucking back down again. Fuck it, it can just stay there. Hardly anything ever comes out of it anyway. Or you can just get rid of this connection, put the two together and have a vent straight into the tank. Um, the tank itself has a vent in the cap, possibly. Maybe that is only only an air vent. Well, don't fucking follow my instructions, do what they tell you. But what I've done is I've nicked a bit off that vent, that pipe work. I could go and dig out some pipe, but there, fuck that. And then that pipe goes on your manifold. So how this whole thing works is when you take off this off, like so, nothing comes out. And that's good if you want to replace your tank or you want to get your carb. Now, the residual stuff that's in your carb will still leak out, obviously. But the way this works is inside here, there is a diaphragm. And a diaphragm is basically a, flexi a flexible membrane. Uh, kind of think of like a drum skin. Or, in a sense, you can think about it as a plunger, in a way, a rubber seal. Um, and But the difference with a diaphragm is a diaphragm seal works on differentiating pressure. Or, it, is there more pressure on one side, or is there less pressure on one side than the other? A pressure differential, like a lot of things in engines. So, what this does is, when there's a uh, vacuum in your manifold, i.e. your piston goes down, your... And I, yes, I know vacuum, it's not really vacuum, but just for basics we'll just stick with that your piston goes down it creates a big volume which we call a vacuum because it's lower than um, atmospheric so what happens is, is your inlet valve opens and like i say that draws that's a lower pressure region that lower pressure region is actually in your manifold as well because it's not just in your ports it's in your manifold because they're all connected and it goes through to your carb and sucks air in sucks i know just calm down <laughs> it draws air in or air expands through your exhaust, uh, your inlets and blah. But um, what it also does is that lower pressure, it also, it also draws, entices the air, sucks the air out of this pipe that's connected, uh, of that pipe that's connected to your diaphragm. And what this does is, is it opens the valve to let fuel in to then go to your carb. The problem is, is you need to prime this whole thing because your fuel bowl might be absolutely empty. So how the fucking hell do you do that? Well, we've got to basically just open this valve and the way you do that is get yourself a handy, handy syringy jobby. What's this? This is 20 millilitres. Fuck all. And we get our pipe wherever the bloody hell it's gone. There it is. Get our pipe. Stick our... Fucking it's always the wrong size bloody pipe. I'll suck some fuel through it. Let's get on with it. Oh, not very well. Whoa. 
<laughs> well, she doesn't like that. If you want to know what the noise is, it's the gas mask. That's what it's for, people ask a lot. 